right, welcome back to the channel. Over here, we talk about uh, prison stories, we talk about true crime, and today, what we're gonna talk about is a murder case that happened in my town. Um, I knew this family uh, pretty good. They had a uh, local pizzeria in the town that I grew up with, and my wife dated one of the brothers. Okay, this is going back into 1993, small town, Port St. Lucie, Florida. Guy named Victor Brancaccio. Before I go any further, if you are new to the channel and this is the content that you're into, go ahead and do me a favor, smash that subscribe and uh, give the option of members a quick peek um, and let's get into it. All right, where do I even start? Um, so this story is not a new story um, and I wanted to get in and bring this one to you guys because it's not no secret I've been out there covering the Brian Laundry case. And uh, in covering it in detail, being out there, covering it for my reasons, watching how the media uh, portrays things. You know, uh, Laundry has something in common with this dude, they're cowards. Um, you know, me and come, and for me to bring this to you, you're getting this perspective of someone who's changed your life, someone who's been in prison before, okay? I've, I haven't been locked up with either one of these guys, but I know what happens to killers when they go to prison, okay? I was locked up with them. Um, so this guy's family, if you're not familiar with this case, it happened all the way back in 93. He's a teenager when he did this. Just to give you the meat and potatoes of what happened here is, it was in uh, St. Lucie West, 17 year old kid walking with a boom box, boom box to his ear. Remember like the old LL Cool J uh, videos or that just up my set off the top of my head. Uh, who else, you guys remember back in the 90s, you know, carrying the boom box. He was walking down the street and he was blaring some rap music and there was an old elderly woman, 81, 83 years old, and she told him to turn that crap down. Um, he killed her and burnt her body, okay? He's a scumbag. Um, he did not get life for this, all right? Um, the media, this is a very old case. I'm going to pin the whole case in the description or in the pinned comment, check it out. Um, the end result to this was he did not get a life sentence for doing this crime because of his age. Um, and it was so senseless. And, I, and, I, and this reminds me of Brian Laundrie. I said that they're both cowards because in the Brian Laundrie thing, um, it's, it's all alleged. We don't know the details yet. Um, all, all you can do is go off the autopsy where it shows, you know, strangulation. Assuming it was him, he killed his fiance, Brian Laundry. That is, uh, you know, over senseless, over nothing. You know, this is first, first love dramatics. Okay, um, this other guy who I'm speaking about, Brancaccio, killed an. 80 something year old woman, old woman, okay? She did not deserve to lose her life, okay? Uh, and he just violently acted, not only killed her, burnt her body, it takes a real sicko to do that, okay? I made a video about Brian Laundry. okay? What happens if he goes to prison? And uh, people may think I'm joking about it. Uh, I said, listen, someone is, because it's all over the media, hey, someone's gonna make him his boy, okay? Uh, this is exactly what happened to uh, this man, this video I'm talking about now, Roncaccio. Uh, Look, he's got the skirt on, and uh, let's just say he's uh, he's taking a lot of soul pull. Okay, uh, yeah. How else? You, how else you want me to put it? Uh, what you will not find out about this case that I'm going to pin below in the description and in the uh, pinned comment is this guy's family. Okay, I knew it, it. He has. There's a lot. It's from my hometown, and he has a lot of brothers. Okay. When the case was going on, I was a kid, but even I always followed it, okay? There, they, people always assumed that this family, the Brancaccio family, were it tied into the mafia. I can't honestly tell you if that's a factual statement or not. I have no idea. Uh, to this day, I have no idea. But what I can tell you is they had a pizzeria uh, right off Floresta. And um, what's not said in the media is this family has hit the lottery two different times, okay? Um, now, not not the uh, mega millions, I'm not talking about they hit for, you know, 50 million twice, but 
I believe it was Fantasy Five once and something else. You know, they 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 got hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of dollars hitting these hitting the lottery. Okay, with a pizza a very successful pizzeria. Um, and rumor has it um, that just about every penny of that money that was that they hit for on the lottery was spent on this guy's lawyer fees. Okay, now I, I can factually tell you, okay, I was not in prison with this guy, but I say it a lot. Uh, it's not fine, it's not hard to find people these days. Um, I know a lot of people in prison still, okay? I have friends that have made mistakes going in and out. For murder, no, but for drugs and whatever have you. Um, and, you know, when you go to prison here in Florida, there's no telling where they're gonna send you. Uh, and, and I know I, I know personal friends of mine who have been at his camp, okay? When you're from a county and go to prison, you know, that is your home team, okay? You're gonna flock and, and, and more than likely talk to people that are sentenced from your county, no matter if they're in there for five years before you or if they come in after you, you just have that simple, um, you know, you, that simple conversation of what's happening in your town. You know, you're in prison far away you want to you want to get brought back to the streets and when you can find someone who's been sentenced out of the same county as you the conversation goes well uh you know it, it, it can just bring you back i'm going to read some stuff here and uh wrap this one up and uh give you my thoughts on it nearly 25 years after killing a port st lucie widow victor brancaccio returns to court tuesday to begin a bid to convince a judge to redu reduce the life prison term he's serving Brancaccio, who turns 41 in February, is entitled to a sentencing do-over because of the reformed laws that govern how to penalize juveniles convicted of first-degree murder. His criminal case record show has spanned two trials, numerous appeals that have involved at least 26 mental health experts. On June 11, 1993, Brancaccio was 16 and living in St. Lucie West with his parents when he murdered Molly May Frazier, who encountered the teen during an after-dinner walk. Before the frenzied attack, the 81-year-old had angered Brancaccio by chastising him for singing along with a vulgar rap song. Evidence presented at trial showed that Port St. Lucie High School dropout beat Frazier with his fists a Walkman cassette player and a toy gun. To hide his actions and erase his fingerprints, Brancaccio hid her body in a field, burned it with newspaper, and later spray painted it red. Fraser's body was discovered June 13, 1993, behind a berm in a vacant lot in St. Lucie West subdivision. A medical examiner stated the cause of death was blunt trauma, with most of her injuries inflicted possibly less than a minute, according to trial documents. Now that's one part that I forgot. After he beat her, he drug her, he drug her into the bushes, put her on fire, and he spray painted her red. I don't know why red, I don't know what his thinking was. Uh, he did it, and I do remember during the trial, the spray paint cans were left by her, not too far, not too far from her, and they were able to tra trace it. I just find this one interesting. I don't know who knows about this case. It was huge here in uh, this part of Florida. I do know his brothers, okay? Um, had to go to school with his brothers. His brothers were younger than him, okay? It, now, um, this is very heinous what I'm talking about when I'm reading to you and it's factual. Um, his brothers were actually all right, okay? Look, just sometimes, you know, um, these, you know, if things like this happen to family, uh, you can't, it's hard to uh, hold the whole family accountable um and again if i compare this to the brian laundry thing uh the laundry family is not cooperating helping whatsoever with a loss of life um, i can't say the same for this case uh his brothers were all right people okay um despite what you may feel about this uh you know um you know went through school and uh hey they had it hard man they had they had it hard uh Many of you may know my wife's channel. Um, look, she dated one of the brothers. I'm gonna have her. I'm gonna have her on a part two, uh, and uh, maybe talk about this. But tell me how you feel about it in the comments. Um, covering these things, it is uh, 
it, it's pretty weird. Again, this is coming from a convict's pers perspective. Uh, I, I don't know if, if Brian Laundrie is um, alive or dead. I couldn't tell you. Uh, I do know what will happen to him when he goes to prison, okay? Um, for this story, for Victor, um, don't think for one second uh, he went to prison and, and his crime was justified or, or looked at as a good deed or like a, a, some people think that some people th have the misconception that when you go to prison, it's college for criminals. I've done a video about that. Um, it, it is in a sense. It is in a sense because if you're a petty drug dealer or whatnot and you get knocked off and you get sent to prison, you can meet connections in there, okay? Because you, you don't have a big, a big term to serve and you can get out and, and you can network in there if that makes sense. So it is college like that. But as far as like murder would be, you know, you have an, uh, you, you ace in college. No, it doesn't go like that. Some crimes are, some murderers are. It depends the circumstance. An old lady touching kids, chomos, no good, okay? I, I told y'all, laundry will pay with his butthole and Brancaccio is as well. Uh, you know, 16 years old, you do something that heinous, okay? You do something that heinous. Um, you know, think for a second. How many of you at 16 years old, what is your dating, um, you know, how many how many relationships have you gone, gone through? As a 16 year old boy, for myself, uh, if I had to do, you know, a life sentence, I can't, I can't reflect on too many past relationships, okay? So when he went to prison, um, hey, look, they turned him out. It's, it's almost like, it's almost like that's all he knew, okay? He doesn't know woman like that, if you think about it. Uh, and I'm telling you, I've seen it a billion times. But listen, man, it's uh, White Wallet on Radio. I've been blabbing a lot. Check out the description, the pinned comment. Tell me how you feel about it. And uh, stay tuned. We're dropping them every Tuesday and every Friday. Stay safe. Stay out. Stay solid. And stay away from these weirdos. Stay smart. Till the next one. Who said white boys can't jump? Subscribe. Gotchas.